Hello there, you may remember me mentioning as a throwaway line in one of my older videos that I am going to be breaking down my Hulk mech, my Thanos mech, and also my Inquisitor mech, and that was to make more space on my shelf for some mechs. They were my least favourite mechs, and especially the Inquisitor could definitely have been done better, so there may be another version of the Inquisitor if we get another one in one of the shows, but I have taken apart my Thanos and Hulk for the most part. I've sort of kept this combination because the Thanos arms were actually the only thing to survive this build, but I've taken apart the Thanos mech and instead built an Ahsoka one we will be checking out in this video. But before I start, please do subscribe. I'm so grateful to all of you that have already subscribed, but there are still so many that haven't. So hit the subscribe button, stay tuned for more awesome LEGO content. And if you are enjoying this video, you might as well come back and enjoy it some more. So that is all from me. Let's get on to looking at the mech. And before we look at the actual mech itself, I just want to quickly go over the lightsaber that I've created. Because what I've done is got one of these double length Technic pins with the axle hole on the end, put one of these Technic pin covers, I don't really know the technical Technic names for any of these, got one of the double length covers and that has allowed me to put this Technic pin with the stud on the end with a nice ball to represent the longer of Ahsoka's lightsabers and for the shorter one I've just got one of these Technic pins with the axle hole. So if you did want to recreate it at home, that's how I've built the lightsabers. But of course, you're not here to see the lightsaber. You're here to see the entire mech. And it does look really cool. Now, I'll get this out of the way. The reason I use the Thanos mech is because of that torso that comes with the Marvel ones. Unlike the Star Wars, they are separate, so can snap in half and would be great for... Not only female characters, but also for characters like Maul, where you can quite literally just cut the mech in half. But not only does this sort of make the character a bit more angled and give it the shape of the figure in universe, but also allows it to spin. And whilst you can't use the force to throw out Ahsoka's lightsabers, it means you can reenact scenes like when she is cutting through the floor of the Venetar and spinning around very quickly which is very nice to reenact this character can spin a full 360 and doesn't get caught up so really you can spin it as many times as you like and i'm sure you can add some sort of mechanism to attach some sort of motor through some wiring and make it spin like crazy but you can see the lightsabers in her hands i've just used one of the Technic Lego sort of plate elements with the holes on the bottom. I'm really not sure on Technic terminology. I don't use it enough to know what these are all called. But besides that, the rest of the mech is built as I usually would. Of course, I wasn't able to build this front bit completely custom, but found a nice tile just to sit at that angle to represent that middle to the torso that is also represented on Lego's figure. Just in the middle, that nice angled piece. There's no hexagon Lego pieces, so the best I could do is just a one by one square tile. And the lightsabers do actually clip on the sides. I've got them clipped on their lightsaber elements. You can clip the lightsaber hilts, but clipping the lightsaber elements just allows me more room when spinning around the top of the mech. Now, as you can see, one lightsaber is shorter than the other, and that is because I've purchased this proto saber blade through firestar again use my code if you are purchasing through firestar it gets you 10 percent off and who doesn't like to save money on lego and also some nice printed arms for the ahsoka minifigure so we'll take a look at them and go back to the mech in a sec but as you can see the proto saber just makes the figure look really cool it's a bit more realistic as Ahsoka does have one shorter saber and the gauntlets on the arms are definitely something overlooked by lego that perhaps if this figure come out today they would definitely add as she does have this arm detailing on the figure from the ahsoka series so it's great to go along with that one that hopefully we get a bit cheaper sometime soon so i can compare the two but i really do like the proto saber and that goes for the mandalorian capes as well i really wish we got some slimmer capes for some of the minifigures 
Ahsoka doesn't use a cape and actually has some nice back printing on her back, but this is the outfit that the mech is resembling. I'm sure you've seen it and I'm sure the thumbnail probably gave that away, but there were some tricks I pulled off to make sure it's as accurate as it can be, like the sort of skirt piece that she wears does come out when she moves a leg. So instead of having that gap between the leg of the mech and this nice angled piece, acting as the design on the skirt. I've just added some simple one by one cheese slopes so as the leg comes out it looks like the skirt piece is moving with it and of course if you move it any further than this then it does create a gap but most poses will have the legs positioned no further than this far apart and just is a little detail that makes the mech look just that much better than if I included a one by one tilt perhaps and to go along with this the bottom of the shoes is sort of exposed rather than covered by the same gear that is on her lower leg, which was definitely missing from the earlier Ahsoka costume. So all I've done is included two plates in the nice brown with a slope at the front to show them exposed parts of the shoe as they appear in the final episode. So this outfit is taken from the final four episodes of The Clone Wars season seven and personally i think is one of ahsoka's best looks it's up there and tied with the gandalf the white look we get from the ahsoka show but once again showing you how easy it is to put the minifigure in you just clip the lightsaber elements to the sides of the mech and as ahsoka has that head tail that comes down her back she's unable to actually sit in this pod like Thanos is so all I've done is included a jumper plate you can include two but you only really need the one to sit Ahsoka that half a stud forward and she clips in nicely make sure the arms are lowered a bit and then it pops up it doesn't close fully but it closes enough much like my Amy mech which has to account for the skirt piece it closes enough to stop Ahsoka falling out if she is unclipped from that jumper plate and of course the nice bright orange arms to resemble Ahsoka's with the gauntlets added on by the hands it looks like the mech is just wearing gloves but I really do like the design of this and I'm very fond of this mech this will definitely be one that stays amongst my display and I'll probably keep this for a while if you haven't seen any of my other mech videos I do encourage you to check them out but I have made these custom leg pieces which bend exactly like the piece that Lego use but also have the advantage of being able to be straightened out which is actually covered very well on the inside. If the boot don't get in the way you can see I can bend it round and straighten it and because I've used this sort of wedge sloped tile here you can see that it lines up with the leg at both of the angles. So. I'm very happy with how this mech come along and again Ahsoka's unclipped from the jumper but we can still turn it over give it a little shake because of the torso piece that is capturing it. Hopefully we see a few more mechs. I know there is a rumour for another Star Wars mech this year. I'd love to get another three as the mechs do tend to come in groups of threes and I would absolutely love for some Clone Wars mechs because we could get a trooper like we got the stormtrooper with the imperial trio we could then get a jedi knight in place of vader and instead of boba fett perhaps we get another named character that is just as important but perhaps not as on the front lines as the jedi or clone perhaps even a palpatine mech would look really cool with his red outfit or even just any of the outfits from the Clone Wars as the designers did a great job on them and I think this does represent the character well of course we're using them blue blaster bolts from Jin Erso the same ones are on my custom Venator midi scaled ship and they do look really cool in place of them saber elements I think the Vader saber element the red one that come with the Vader mech that is is a little too long it's barely longer than this one but I think it's just a little too long to be played with this is a bit more to scale with the mechs I'm not trying to scale it up with the minifigure otherwise the saber would be a lot longer than this probably two of them but I do think it's a lot nicer scale for the mech and also means that when their arm is down by the side there's no worry of the saber actually hitting the floor like it does somewhat with the vader mech so of course 
drop a like if you did enjoy looking at this mech today and let me know if there's any other mechs you want from not only the Star Wars theme but others as I have made mechs for the X-Men and the Sonic Lego figures. So as always let me know down in the comments and be sure you are subscribed before clicking on the next video. May the bricks be with you always. Thank you.